What's up everybody, my name is Garlene here, and I'm bringing you another episode of Minecraft Single Player. Uh, well, I kind of left off, uh, last time making the house, and I didn't feel like that was enough for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and start finishing the house, uh, I'm gonna go mining, and I'm gonna go make another portal. Uh, because, I don't know, I feel like making another portal for some reason. And I forgot to put my door down last time, which really bugged me this entire time. Uh, I did record about, I don't know, s five hours ago? No, not five hours ago. Uh, yeah, I did about record five hours ago. And uh, it's uploaded now. So, now I have my door in place. I don't have enough wood to uh, finish up. So, I wonder if I can put... Nah. I'm going to go back down into the mine. And I'm going to go look for some lava. So I can uh, make another bucket, or I can make a bucket and get some water and get some obsidian and go to the nether because I want glowstone, I want all that stuff I hear a zombie here I don't know where he is I might look for him right now where are you? usually caves are like near dirt I've noticed, I don't know why, but they are like if you start digging up dirt there's usually a high chance of zombies I don't think there's a high chance this time, but I'll check again later. Getting really annoying though. <laughs> what level am I at? 36, huh? Uh, I want to stay at 12, just so I can uh, keep looking for diamond, and I don't have to worry about uh, other things. Like I can just keep going this way. I he did hear lava. One person in the comments, uh, I think a little while ago, I told me to go look for lava. I don't know why. It is said to be careful around it, I think. I think it was this way. Sounds like it's more down. So if I go down here... Maybe it's down here? I have no idea. Oh, it's probably dark again. Sorry. But, yeah, I I was thinking about recording again. I did show my uh, my parents that I've been recording. Uh, my mom's really proud of me for that. I don't, I don't know. Uh, she doesn't really understand, like, what it is, but I'm, I'm glad that she's supportive, and uh, that's really nice. But, uh, I put out a few videos today, and I promised to put out some more. So... Here I am. I'm going to be recording uh, probably more Mindsy and more Hunger Games right after this. Uh, something happened to my portal too. I have no idea what. But uh, it looks like my computer uninstalled it for some reason. Maybe my computer doesn't want me to do the, uh, the series either. <laughs> but no. In all seriousness, I have no idea how that happened. But I'm going to try and reinstall it as quick as I can. Uh, and just bring that series right back. It seems like some of you wanted it back. Uh... Most of you said, yeah, keep the series going, so I'm going to go ahead and just do that, but as for now, I'm just going to keep on doing my Minecraft, because that's so far is what I've only been doing. I've been doing <laughs> solely Minecraft-related things. Uh, most of you wanted a, uh, a modded series. I could do Feed the Beast. I've, I, I'm kind of a noob at that. I've no idea how to how to make everything work. I mean, I liked it when I used to play it. I used to love Thumbcraft and everything. Does coal look different? No, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, I used to mess around with Thumbcraft and everything, but uh, when it came down to like uh, electronics and stuff, like technology, I wasn't able to to do that as well because I <laughs> I'm really bad at it. I have no idea how like anything works or like power situations. I guess it would be a nice way of you guys adding things into the into the uh, the series, but it'd be exactly like this. It'd be just a, a Minecraft related series, and uh, I don't know if you guys would like that of just me uh, talking to my <laughs> talking to you guys again. Pretty much almost the same thing, the same stuff, unless uh, I don't know. I do have some plans for this channel. Uh, I'm not gonna release them yet, but. They're gonna be good. I, I I really like the plan that I have. 
and I'm hoping that you guys will like it too. Uh, man, this is a really long. The Minecraft music is actually pretty good. I've been sitting here listening to it for a little bit, and it's really soothing. Just like mining and everything with the uh, Minecraft music going on in the background. I've never really had this going in the background. I, I usually like listen to my own music. Sounds weird to me. Oh my goodness. This mine is too long. I don't like this anymore, okay? I wanna go back up. This is boring. So how am I gonna I, I wanna finish the house but I don't have enough wood to finish it, so I'm gonna go back up and look for more wood. Or not just chop some trees because I already know where wood is. I'm gonna, I will make a proper mine later, but like that's after I finish my house and everything. Uh, it doesn't look like my armor is hurt anymore for some reason. I remember I got attacked by a spider uh, last episode. Huh. Oh well. I'm not complaining. Let's see. This is actually a pretty deep mine. Oh my goodness. I like how I have a mine just like in the middle of my house. Nope. Uh. There. Okay. Oh, well, there's a zombie that I was looking for. <laughs> Hello. Okay, he's under the trees. Okay. Uh, let me just keep getting wood. Ah, okay. Let me tell you guys another story, since I told you that one about uh, my dad and when I was about to be born. Okay. This is again before I turned one. Um, this is a story of when my dad was left to uh, babysit me when I was a baby. <laughs> uh, he had fallen asleep on the couch after my mom had left to go to work. And, I don't know, it was around like, it was really late. So I don't blame him for falling asleep, but uh, my mom still <laughs> brings this up to this day, where uh, that he fell asleep while he was watching me, and he he, uh, he thought I was asleep, but I had crawled out of my crib, and I started walking towards the window, and we have these kind of windows that open up. Oh, oops, <laughs> we have these windows with these uh, windows that open up kind of slanted. I don't know how to explain it, but. Uh, I crawled out of that, and <laughs> my dad didn't know. He was still asleep. So, I, I don't know, I was crawling around outside, and my neighbor finds me, and uh, they bring me home, and my dad's like, how did you get out? Like, Because the neighbor asked, does this belong to you? <sighs> my neighbor's a jerk. He, he referred to me as like an object. I'm a baby, darn it. Uh, but yeah, he asked if, if I belonged to him, <laughs> if I belonged to my dad. And my dad was wondering how I got out and everything, and my mom was really mad at him. It was, it's pretty funny. It's a really funny story, at least to me, because like, I don't know. I love, I like laughing at my dad. It's fun. <laughs> but yeah, you know, being able to to grow up and live through all these experiences, it's great because you have stories to tell people when you're older. Like with each passing day, you get a new story, and uh. I've learned that over the past few years, that you don't live like the same day every day. I mean, maybe some of you can, but I you don't really do it. I don't understand how somebody could live the exact same day over and over again. There's got to be something different each day, right? Whereas, like, in school, you learn something different each day. Even if you already knew it, you'd learn something new about what you already knew. It's uh, it's something really weird. I I like it about the human mind. It's that you get a new, new idea. You get new ideas. You get new thoughts every day. Your mind's always maturing and everything. It's really cool. Uh, but yeah, that's my my little bit of uh, knowledge that I've gained over the past few years. I'll tell you guys another story another time. But uh, for now, let's just finish this house because I really want to finish this house.
taken way too long for me to just stop building it. Oh, oops. Ah, goodness. And, oh yeah, Chris and Carlo never went on TeamSpeak to uh, say bye or anything, so I'm just sitting in TeamSpeak right now. I don't know why I'm sitting in TeamSpeak. It, probably somebody's probably going to poke me later, like poke or cart, uh, carton or something. But, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's really weird not having Chris and Carlo around. Because they're usually around and we usually stream and everything. And, uh, this weekend, I don't know what's wrong with, uh, what's up with it, but it seems like, uh, it's different just because Chris and Carlo aren't around. But, uh, you know, we're all friends here. It doesn't really, uh, affect us in any way in real life or anything. I mean, it's like, uh, not being with your friends for a certain amount of time. And if you don't hang out with them for, like, a long time, you start feeling like you're losing contact with them or something. I don't know, I guess that's just me thinking too much. But, yeah. <laughs> I, I really overanalyze a lot of things. And, uh, that gets me... That gets me in a little bit of trouble sometimes. But, that's just who I am. I, I live with it, people live with it. My parents live with it. <laughs> It's uh, it's just the way peop uh, people are. Everybody's different. But yeah, I I usually see these uh comments on uh, Chris's channel saying if he can talk. Darn it! <laughs> if he can talk about uh, certain subjects, like uh, like bullying or anything like that, and uh. I was wondering if you guys would like me to touch down on those subjects, because uh, I may not have been bullied, but I know how it feels, and I know firsthand how someone would react to a bully, and how to, uh, how to deal with it. Because uh, I usually, uh, my friends, when I used to go to uh, middle school, uh, I would be friends with uh, the gamers, which were kind of like what people usually consider nerdy so whenever I would hang out with them uh, my friends from when I used to play soccer because I, I was I was kind of athletic back in uh, back in middle school I would play soccer like every day uh, I played for a team everything and uh, nobody really bothered me because I was part of a bunch of different uh, bunch of different groups because if I my parents always told me if I wanted to to be with a certain group of people, I could. So I chose to be with everybody. I chose uh, the, the gamers. I chose the chess players. I chose the sports, the jocks. Uh, I I liked hanging out with everybody and seeing how everybody reacted to uh, my company. Uh, there's also times where I had like a lot of friends that were girls, and I would always be called a uh, gay for that, and uh. I don't think that you, you're supposed to be called gay for hanging out with girls. That seems weird to me, but um, there's nothing wrong with being gay. I mean, I don't understand why why that's such a uh, that's such an insult to people. I mean, if somebody calls you gay, it's just calling you a person, isn't it? I mean, y you are who you are. Uh, gay people are, are no different. Uh, somebody who's who chooses to like someone of the same gender of them there's nothing wrong with it uh there's nothing <laughs> there's nothing abs there's absolutely nothing wrong with it there's no excuse for it i mean it may be different but it's not there's nothing wrong with the person or with uh or with their ideas it's a normal thing uh, and this has been going on since the beginning of time people have always been homosexual and all those things and bullies have always been around. Darn it, I keep falling. This freaking thing. Ah. Ah. Sorry. Uh. Okay. Let me get back on task. But yeah, there's always been these people that will always touch down on the subject of there's going to be a bully everywhere you go. There's always going to be that one person that's going to make your life pretty much miserable. I never really had that problem. I mean, back in, uh, 
back in middle school, that was the only time when people would call me uh, gay for hanging out with girls. And they would also call me a nerd for hanging out with uh, the gamers. But there's nothing really wrong with that. I, I, I never really thought of it as a bad thing. I thought of them as just names that, because the whole concept of sticks and stones really stuck to me as to names won't hurt you. Uh, they might physically hurt you. Like, if somebody calls you gay while they're punching you in the face, that might hurt. But uh, being called a name wouldn't, shouldn't bother you at all in the slightest. It's it's them calling you a name. It's nothing really bad. If they offend you in any way, I mean, I don't understand the, the concept of being offended by words. Because words are words. Words won't ever do anything to you. They can be psychological, yes, but there's nothing really wrong with it and oh man people were wondering why I uh, why I why I walk around like this like I, I just run around when I'm talking I have like a weird case of ADD where if I if I'm not doing anything I have to be doing something I don't know uh, so I'm gonna be jump if you see me jumping around or anything it's cuz I'm, I'm going on like a big tangent like I just did uh, and I'm just going to keep talking, and I'm just going to keep running around, and then I start jumping on stuff like I start jumping on the trees like I did last episode, or I don't remember what episode I did that in. But yeah, I, I got a roof now. This is good. This is a good place to leave off. Um, leave it in the comments if you want to keep talking about this, if you want me to touch down on those subjects. Uh, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to Chris and the Mic. Don't forget to go to chrisandthemic.com for more information on the lovely Attractive Network. And, uh, bye.